Welcome back to Elden Ring. I was going to enter the academy at the beginning of this episode, but we're taking a bit of a detour because I heard in the comments that in the starting area on the beach, I had missed a cave. Well, I found it now. It's called the Coastal Cave. It's pretty close to the Nomadic Merchant. That's underneath that, like, big piece of rubble there. And by the way, the fact that the Nomadic Merchant shows up on the map is actually a new thing that they added in the, I think it's 1.3 or 1.03 patch that they released. It's a relatively big one, made a lot of balance changes. It actually added some new NPCs, I think, and like some new NPC quests and added um, merchants to be displayed on the map. And I think just characters in general, like Church of Ella says there's Merchant Kale. At the first step, there's White... White Mask Vare. I remember them, yeah. They were at the very first side of Grace that we found, weren't they? Haven't been back to them in forever. Literally since the beginning of the game, I wonder if they would have something new for me. And you're a hunter of bloody fingers. Is that a new NPC? Oh, things to do. But uh, anyway, for now, let's check out this cave because I think it's going to lead to this island where we can become a dragon or something. <laughs> Fire required ahead, target lock and short enemy ahead. Ah, uh, yes. Try item. Well, this is the beginning area, so I'm assuming these enemies are going to be pretty easy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I killed them in one hit. I feel like the starlight should last longer. Boss ahead. Hmm. If that leads to the boss, what's the other way? Oh, no, that just leads to the same place. <laughs> Oh, demi-human chief. Oh, you're the bosses? You two are the chiefs. Ah, 
Okay, one of them down. Let's do the other with a melee. Right, they do frenzies. Yeah, wild strikes for the win. Tailoring tools? <gasps> Sewing needle? What can I do with those? Make my own clothes? Is that key items? Yes. Block the demi-human's prized sewing needle. A large sewing needle curved like a fang. Portable set of tailoring tools enables armor alterations at sites of grace. Armor alterations in what way? Like, how can I alter them? Okay, before we move on, let's get a butthole message. If only I had a physical butthole. It's not easy not having a butthole. Wait. Yeah, that's not the way I entered. I know I can return to the beginning, but then what's this? Well, I guess this maybe leads to the island, huh? think we're on the island. We're on the island! <gasps> yes! Oh, look at that golden sky. I see a side of grace up there. All right, I want to see these armor alterations. Alter garments. Hmm. So the robe is the only thing I can alter? Is that right? I guess so. Um, after alterations, it can become the thing down below, which is just like a different color. Oh, I think it's actually the outer like white part of it taken off. So it's just the inner part. Which is that, like, reddish color? So it has the same stats, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's... Oh, wait, no, it doesn't have the same stats. Hold on. No, it weighs less. Because it's, like, literally taking a part of it off. It weighs less, and it has proportionally less protection in every way. Hmm... Well, I don't think I want that. Well, let's just see what it looks like. Because I can always turn it back. I prefer it the other way. Regardless of the stats, I just, I just think it looks better. I wonder how many things can be altered, though. Like, can I really not alter any of my other pieces of armor? Did I put them all in a box? No, I have all of these. So I guess it's just not that many things that can be altered. Sure.
Church of Dragon Communion. First off, night. Oh, does this have to be nighttime? It's kind of getting there, but it might not be night enough. Behold, rump! <laughs> Is there something up there? Ritual of Dragon Communion. What is this? Okay, so these take dragon hearts. Each one takes one, and I have three, so I could get them all. But they require faith and arcane, which is not my forte. Channels dragon to spew flame breath. Channels it to rend foes with dragon claws. Channels it to bite foes before caster. FP cost 62. Okay, so that's like a... Is it basically like an ult? Their ultimate? Because at that cost, that's like at least half of your FP bar. This one's 28, that one's 42, this one's 62. So these are quite powerful spells. In terms of FP cost, and probably in terms of damage too. Oh, it'd be interesting to play a class that could use these. But yeah, not for me. Now, let's go see what was up here. Far to the east, you'll find the Cathedral of Dragon. This is not a player message. This is a game message. Interesting. Far to the east. like a dream. I think I hear a shiny dung ball down there. Gorgeous view. It is. Ooh, don't hurt, don't hurt. Okay, whew. Bug ahead. I don't think there's anything else here. Oh, there's an item. Bye. <laughs> I love how they roll. Roly poly goats. Yeah. Thanks for, uh, yeah, thanks to everybody for pointing out that pretty important thing that I missed at the very beginning of the game. I'm glad I went back. It turns out the dragon stuff is not for my character class, but I'm still glad I found it and glad I found those um, garment altering tools. Oh, well done. Well done indeed. You bested Godric the Grafted and claimed a great room. My congratulations. Now, visit the round table hold for an audience with the two fingers in the inner chamber. Go to the ra- For an audience with the- Ah, I have been waiting for your return. I've decided to leave the round table hold. I'm off in search of a noble scholar known as the Gold Mask to beg his instruction. We may not meet again for some time. If there's any incantations you wish to learn, now's the moment. No, thank you. Oh, I have a Fire Monk's Prayer Book. Uh, maybe I'll hold on to this one. May the 
golden order shine through you. Have I seen you before? I don't believe we've met. No. I'm known as D. I hunt down those who live in death and weed their death root. Heed my warning. Those who live in death should be left well alone. All the more should you spy a mariner among their number. Unless you wish to lay down your life in vain. Show death root. Do I have a death root? Well, well. With a prowess for weed in death root. Hmm. How would you like to earn the strength of beasts? If you're inclined to haunt more of those who live in death and weed their death root, then I'll introduce you to Garank, the beast clergyman. I have a matter of my own to attend to, and the beast himself wishes for someone to take my place. What say you? Sure... I guess? Very well. Show me your map. I've marked the location for you, of a hidden gateway. It will lead you to Garank, the beast clergyman. A red mark was made on the map. What is it? Still milling about. The map indicates where the gateway is hidden. It will lead you to Garank, the beast clergyman. Oh, it's to the east. I don't think I've met this person either. They seem to be a little bit infested. Ah, we meet again after all. I apologize for any offense given by my bearing, but I'm quite unable to move, you see. So, what do you need? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember meeting them. I kind of remember the hole that you can fall through that would lead you right to them, but I don't know how to describe where it was. But yes, I do remember. Um, about D. Ah, so you've met D. D is an old friend. We found ourselves journeying together for a time, bound by our exploration of death. But our paths have since diverged, never again to cross. Though that's hardly an uncommon fate for two friends. D was telling me that he discovered the mark of the centipede. The centipede is an ancient symbol of the curse mark. As long as whoever finds and uses it is not nefarious by nature, then we may be able to form an alliance. If only I could speak to them in person, and if they were like you, all the better. I've defeated Godric. Ah, you defeated Godric and claimed yourself a great rune. Mm. Looks like we both got what we wanted out of Stormvale, didn't we? Well done, friend. Something to mark the occasion. Go on, take it. Roger's rapier, plus eight. Thank you. As you might have guessed, I still can't move. My fighting days are behind me. No need to be polite. I've no use for it anymore. Yeah, so what exactly happened to you, my friend? Like, there's bugs all around you. You have a large blanket covering your lower half. There's plant stalks coming out of you? You okay? I don't think they're okay. Oh, still need? Don't have any new spells. Sadness, yeah. For Roderica, I can say there's something you should know. I'm not actually sure what that is, though, but let's do it. I need to warn you about something. A little while ago, someone started lurking in the wing on the opposite side of the round table. And I can hear, from all the way over there, the howling and wailing of spirits in fear of a curse. I can even hear the repulsive twisted malice in itself. A plethora of spirits in an unceasing cacophony. I can't even imagine. 
how much suffering inflicted to who knows how many souls. Not even the grafting caused anything like this to happen. You should keep your distance. I know you're strong, but please. That just makes me want to go to the other side of the wing even stronger. <laughs> I'm not going to stay away. I want to know what that is. Ooh, this door was not open before. Just past the twin maiden husks. By the way, do you sell anything new? No, nothing jumps out at me. First off, you don't have the right. Hmm. Is that that dung eater guy they mentioned in the beginning video? I like the intro cinematic. Okay, you're red though, so I assume you're going to attack me. Didn't expect light. Have you ever felt the curse? With your whole being, the pox upon life itself, feared and despised by all. The reviled blessing. <laughs> Apparently not. You are but a lamb, a stranger to defilement, ignorant of your own ignorance. You no longer interest me. I've been long without peace. Don't spoil my quietude. Sorry. I asked you not be thankful of the whole serenity. It is all that keeps your death and defilement at bay. If I keep bothering them, will they get more pissed off? I asked you not to be thankful of the... It is all that keep. Nah, that's as pissed as they get. There was another door that I think wasn't open before either. This one. Oh, I don't like that. No, that's horrible. This is what Roderick was talking about. How did someone get up there? Oh my god. <gasps> did I do it? Oh, yes! Why is it always message? Head? What? Praise the behind. Are you that new tarnished? You've done well. I am Enya, the finger reader. I interpret the words of the fingers, envoys to the greater will. Look there. The fingers tremble to welcome you, Shardbearer. Let their wisdom wash over you. Great Elden Ring, root of the Golden Order. Anchor of all lands, giver of grace, wellspring of all joy. Until it was shattered, the tragic corruption of the Order has taken its toll. Across the realm, life lies in ruin, fallen to pieces. Foul curses and misery spread, unabating. But the greater will has not abandoned the realm, nor the life that inhabits it. So it is that the tarnished are guided by grace, called to act. Brave tarnished, your great rune is a handsome shard of the Elden Ring. Seek another of its kind. To become my Elden Lord and restore the Golden Order. Let the words of the fingers guide you. Well, well, I see. A remembrance of gold has found 
found its way into your possession. Demigods and even the Crater of the Champions are hewn by the Earth Tree upon their end into remembrances. They are valuable indeed. These remembrances yet house the power of their former masters. And should you wish to wield that same power, well, I will lend you the strength of the fingers. Oh, do not recoil from my offer. The fingers guide us all. And you, tarnished, you are here to take, are you not? About Greater Runes. Ah, Great Runes are the stuff of demigods. The children of the goddess, Queen Marika. She who is vessel of the Elden Ring. Tainted by the strength of their runes, her children warred, but none could become Elden Lord. And so grace was extended. To your kind, the tarnished. Listen, the fingers speak. The greater will has long renounced the demigods. Tarnished, show no mercy. Have their heads, take all they have left. Indeed. But remember one thing. The demigods are each and all the direct offspring of Queen Marika. Godric the Grafted was but a distant relation, the runt of the litter. His divine blood sorely diluted. Receive power from remembrance. I'm a bit scared, but let's do it. With the Power of Remembrance menu, you can draw out the power of a Remembrance's namesake. Each Remembrance can provide one power. Once that power is claimed, the Remembrance will be lost. Okay. So, Remembrance of the Grafted. It can be used to claim one of two things. Either Grafted Dragon or the Axe of Godric. Interesting. So that's kind of like the system before where you could turn boss souls into weapons. Kind of, except you can turn them into a discrete set of items. So a boss's soul can become more than just one thing. The Grafted Dragon is a fist weapon. A strike fist weapon. Takes a good amount of strength, actually, and faith. And the special for it is called Bear Witness. <laughs> I bet that would be cool. Axe of Godric requires 34 strength. I am never going to be able to use that. So unfortunately, I can't use either of these. Yeah. I think I can pop the remembrance for runes, which is what I'm going to do. Visions of something incredible. Touch the two fingers. Oh, I'm scared. Okay. Rapture. All right. Shall we? Shall we rapture? Jump for joy, rally and cry. Let's get rid of rest. Let's switch that. With rapture. Oh. 
<sighs> Sorry, fingers, but you're creepy. Now, let's go to Rhea Lucaria. Oh, I changed my hair, by the way. I had like a really long braided ponytail thing. And now it's just straight, long hair. Just felt like a change. I was expecting the gate to open. It's actually a bit of a teleportation thing. Hmm. I think this is going to be a very large area, and I also think it's going to be incredibly important for me. For my character, because, I mean, it's the Sorcerer's Academy, and I'm a sorcerer, right? There must be so many spells here. Where am I? Oh, whoa. I went from here to over here? Okay. Um, is that going to take me back? I'm wondering how long I should hold on to this key for. Because that one guy, Tops, wanted it. Yeah, it just takes me back here. He wanted it, so... I was thinking of just getting the first sight of Grace inside of the Academy, and then giving them the key, but I think I might need it to travel along these things. And there might be more than just this one, right? So I guess I should hold on to it for now? Yeah, I mean, there's another one already. Where's that one going to take me? Probably to the other side of this broken bridge. Yeah, it, it must. It must. Excited to explore this place. Oh my god. Look at it. How are the birds doing in there? Seems okay. So many bird cages. Behold, left. Magic grease. Try jumping. No, thank you. Ouch. Ouch. Fuck. Okay. Gah. Oh my god. Taste of my own medicine, and it tastes real bad. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Fuck. Alright, I'm just gonna run at them. Oh, my God. Oh, 
Don't hit me with that book. Okay. Whew. So difficult, surprisingly. Surprisingly really hard. Be wary of ambush. Thank you. I have a feeling they're going to have very high defense against glintstone magic. Ah. Mechanical soldiers. Or what were they? Marionette soldiers? Ooh, I want that spell. It's so pretty. Look at it. All right, let's see what your defense against glintstone magic is. 108 compared to... 150. I mean... It's not useless. It's not, like, great against him, glintstone, but it's not useless. Praise the Tarnished. I can't break it. Ooh, I spot, well, an enemy and also a future shortcut right there. When were you planning on coming down, buddy? Necessary item. Thank you. Oh, right. Before I forget, let's pop that remembrance of the grafted. Twenty thousand, nice. Two levels? Just one. Uh, let me pop some more. I think I'm gonna put two points in mind, because I want more FP. And weirdly enough, it actually seems to be scaling better now that I've reached twenty mind, because before I think it was only giving me four FP per point. But now it's giving me six. Item on the right. Ooh, a place to drop down to. Ah! Oh no. Oh! I... Oh my god, I just realized! Their eyes are glowing, like, bluish, like the color of my mana, and they actually sucked my mana out when they hugged me. Not just my health, but my mana. Oh, that's really cool! Yeah, 
has a lot of them up there. At least these ones seem to be actually staying dead. Be wary of left. Hello. Oh, I hear a lot of them. Oh, shit. Oh, don't kill me, please. Don't kill me. Ugh. Oh, they're highly resistant to that. Damn. Yeah, makes sense. Spellproof dried liver. That's new. Temporarily boosts magic damage negation. Behold, hidden path. Oh. Okay, hold on. I need to get rid of this. It's an interesting weapon. I do like it. I just don't like the fact that when I want to switch between my staff and my melee weapon, I have to switch multiple times instead of just once. Secret passage ahead. Mm-hmm. Sure. You know, if any place would have secret passages, though, it would be the Sorcerer's Place. Sorcerer's Academy. Trap. Hmm? Oh, hello. Ah! Marionette soldier ashes. Hey doggy, I'm sorry. That's what I'm hearing. You.
Oh, no, no, no. I think stepping foot on the bridge did this. I have no potions left. I mean, no FP potions. I have healing potions. I also can't do wild strikes. I have to do normal melee. Damn it. Ah, what the hell? Okay. I jumped instead of rolling, but it did work. Dog. scare the beetle away. Oh. Behold, Fortnite. It's a full set of armor. It looks very regal. Ooh. Don't you dare. <laughs> but there is a place to go down there. If I just put some cotton on my feet, sees I'm sure I'll be fine. No, I, I don't think I can make that even with cotton. Okay, let's check out that armor. Oh, I forgot to check out the weapon we got a while ago, too. From the sorcerer. Hmm. Roger's rapier plus eight. So it scales pretty well with dex. Well, I don't know. C is not that well. But it is a dex weapon. Clint blade phalanx is the special. It's a thrusting sword. Piercing sword of superior quality featuring intricate ornamentations. Signature weapon of the sorcerer Roger, or Rogier. High dexterity is required to wield the blade to its full potential, but mastery is a sight to behold, characterized by a flowing style which excels in successive attacks. It is so pointy, isn't it? Ooh, look at that. Yeah, it's all about poking. Oh, the strong attack is like a multi-attack thing. <laughs> I have no FP, so this is me trying to blow fire. Just... That's so sad. Okay, and the armor. Much heavier, much better physical. Only slightly worse magical. I would like to wear this. And uh, how does it look? Oh, that is so gorgeous! 
<gasps> oh, I want to wear that. And it, f it does feel very sorcerer-y. I think because of all those jewels. I feel like a battle mage. Okay, can I wear this? Like, oh, I'm in heavy load already, right? Yeah, I am in heavy load. So I'm going to need more vitality or whatever it is. What does the headpiece look like? Was it the carrion? Yeah, carrion knight armor. Carrion knight helm. Okay, I'm not going to be wearing that. I'm sorry. I don't want to cover up my hair. Or my head. Carry Knight Gauntlets actually weigh less than the Banished Knight Gauntlets. Granted, they're worse in every way, but they do have a cool jewel. Oh, yes. They're a lot less bulky, too. Yeah, I think it's more of a medium armor than a heavy armor. This seems more like heavy armor. But this is more elegant, looks more sorcery. Beautiful. Maybe that will free up enough weight that I can put on the chest piece? Yeah, it does. Still in medium load. Oh, heck yeah. I'm sure I can't put the pants on, but I'm curious what they look like. Looks really nice. Couple jewels on the shoes. Little blue jewels, which again feels sorcery. That's, yeah, that is heavy load. Could I toss anything that would give me less weight? Like, I mean, I could toss the torch. I don't want to toss the torch. I'll keep it where it is. Yeah, oh, oh, I didn't even notice the flowy capes in the back. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, hey, now how does the crimson hood look? Is that gonna, nope, not gonna put me in heavy load. Oh, yes. Is that too many layers in the back, though? Or is it just enough layers? It is a lot of layers. There's like three separate things flowing in the back. Actually, no, there's four. <laughs> there's like the main. Yeah, there's like the main armor. Uh, let's just call it a skirt, I guess. There's like the main skirt and then there's the like little cape thing. And then there's the little red thing in the back and then now the big red thing <laughs> so there's there's like four layers of stuff moving but I think I like that you know I do love it but I don't want to cover up the hair I, th I think I'm gonna go with the headband again Sorry, Crimson Hood, you're beautiful, but so is my hair. Right in the bone. Okay, uh, ignoring the dog was not a good tactic. Shit. No! Oh, two dogs. Two dogs.
Oh, didn't even see you. <laughs> it's just missing. Oh, there's a lot of blood stains here. Praise the tarnished. Is this all from the dogs or is there something else? I think it's from the dogs. I just want to know if there's a side of grace up ahead. Like, please. Oh, that does not look like a side of grace. That looks like some nasty stuff and some nasty magic. I guess I'll try to go for the beetle. No FP, no healing potions. Do I have a star shard thing? No. You can get them with the melee. Cool. Really thought they'd run away too fast. my lantern on. Armor ahead. Wait. Oh no, we've already been there. Tear. <laughs> Okay, beware of enemy. Try guard counter. Okay, can can do. Good luck ahead. Thank you. Time for parrying. Well, I can guard counter. Oh. Oh yeah, guard counter is great. Fuck! Oh! Oh, thank God. I was so close to death. Oh. Gravity will. That's probably the spell they were casting on me. That, uh, I don't think it does much damage, if any, but it kind of pulls you in. Try jumping. I think the jumping is referring to that. Wait, where do you go from here? Well, I guess this is all there is to Ray Lucaria. Thanks for watching. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I gotta ride this water wheel thing up. Was this here before and I didn't notice, or did that only appear after I defeated the enemy? I'm guessing if I stayed on that, I would die. Yeah. 
Although, I think I can get up there if I stayed on it and get that item. But let me see if there's a side of grace first. There's got to be one near, right? Item ahead. Crystal dart. Item ahead. Item ahead. Ah, oh, Sight of Grace, yes. Now that I finally have FP again, let's go explore right here and try to get these items. Time for down. Well, I guess I could ride one of those down, huh? Yeah. But yeah, let me see if I can get up there. Yes! Don't hold that torch at me. Cute. Could this be unnoticed? Oh. I didn't realize that's where I could have just gone up this way. Okay. Oh. I can go around it. Let's see, are we beating it in speed? Just slightly, yes. But if we sprint... Arr, yeah! Okay, now, hold on. How do I get you? I see another, like, pathway that leads down to it over there, so I don't think I get there from this water wheel thing at all. I think that's something totally different, probably. Let's see what's down here. Uh, whoa, am I in it? down ahead, and then try death. Okay, so if I go down anymore, I die. There's nowhere else to drop off. Oh yeah, it's pretty close to where it starts to turn back under. Yeah. There is a pathway down there, but I don't think you can get there from writing it down. But you can even see an item there. So where the heck are we now? Have I been here already? No way. Pack ahead. These are just ragdolls, so I don't think they're getting up. Oh, 
Those are a new type of enemy. Come here, I want to see you. What are you? Oh! Look at those little steppies. Oh! Oh, they do bleeding. It's marionette soldiers. Yeah, they're marionettes. But just small ones with wings. Oh, they are quite nimble. They're cute. Oh. Not all of them are ragdolls. Avionette soldier ashes. Okay, so those things are avionettes. I've heard of marionettes before, but never avionettes. Look at that down there. I feel like I could reach that. But should I risk it? I don't know, maybe not. Like, I'm almost certain that's not the intended path. So let's not do it. Let's continue on through here where the Sight of Grace was. They seem to have brain worms. Or brain crystals? I don't know what that is. Hidden path ahead. Hidden path? Conspectus scroll. What is that? I have to give it to a learned sorcerer. To learn Glintstone, Comet Shard, and Star Shower. I have so many things to give sorcerers. I just need to find a sorcerer. I mean, surely I'll find one here, right? Ah, yes. New recipes. Anything stand out? Maybe Spellproof Dry Deliver? I don't think that was the thing before. Can make magic grease? I'm not sure if that's new or not. That might be. Yeah, that definitely looks like a... Oh my god! Hidden paths do exist! The first one! I did say, if any place would have hidden paths, it'd be this place. I gotta applaud all of these. Try jumping. Oh yeah, should be able to make that just fine. Hidden path ahead.
Wait. Really? After an actual hidden path, you put a lie? That is just... What a little... What a little shit. Oh, this is how you get that item we saw. Right? The other one that I was thinking you maybe need to take the water wheel to? Yeah. Oh, if I want to look like one of them. Oblivionous Glintstone Crown. It's quite heavy. It does look like a big piece of stone. And, um, well, yeah, it looks like that. Weirdly enough, in the picture it looks blue, but here it looks green. Ugh. No, thank you. Oh, I need to get the hell out of here. Oh! It's a pop boy! Oh, I don't want to kill you! Oh! That's so horrifying the way they explode. Thank you for your raw meat dumpling. I can use that to heal myself. I don't think they're going to come towards me. read the message. There we go. Cramped area ahead, but hidden path required ahead. Ooh. It's a piece of armor. For our arms. Very light. Actually better special protection. Much worse physical. Better focus, vitality, immunity. Might look quite pretty as well. Manchettes worn by Rhea Lucaria's Scholars of Sorcery. Made by wrapping a simple cloth around the forearms. Uh, I think they're getting covered up by that? I thought they were more white. They look like dirty bandages. I don't like those at all.
Well, the others didn't hear, thank god. Oh, now they did. Just getting started. Oh god, now every bookshelf is gonna have someone claiming either there's a hidden path or there's a liar. Who are they? I found a hidden path that wasn't even marked. I thought it was suspicious because there were no books on the shelf. Why is there no message here? I, I gotta put one on my own. Okay, I can't actually find the words hidden path. I, I must just be missing it, so I'm just gonna say, try attacking. Suspicious. Stone sword key. Comet. New spell. Where does that lead? It's a break in the ground. In fact, that's the only thing up here. It's pretty subtle. It'd be easy to miss that. That that's a little pot baby. You don't have the right. I'm not gonna attack the pot babies. Not unless I have to. Graven school talisman. Ah! No babies, no! I don't want to hurt you babies. They can't reach me up here. They're too little. They're too little with their little pot leggies. Ugh. Ugh. I'm getting you heck out of here. Hey. Yeah, they were totally right. Hidden path required ahead, cramped area. Well, you can't even fit through the doorway. They're too little, but too big at the same time. Continuing on, we have a boss. All right. 
here we go. Oh. Red Wolf of Radagon. Oh, it's a wolf! Oh, it's beautiful! Oh, fuck, I'm out of healing. Oh, no. Beautiful boy. Okay, well, it's a bit of a walk to get back there, and I have an appointment in 15 minutes, so I think I should end this episode here. Hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to take on the Red Wolf.